Stop. You look like an absolute moron. Get back in the shop. That pigeon over there looks more like Tom Cruise than you do. Come on. Show me the money! Right, here's your maverick. Now go home, get out of that stupid outfit and go and make a video. Hello and welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. Now, I am not the first, or the second, or even the third, probably not the 15th, to show you the new Maverick from FX. But this is the UK sub 12 foot pound version, and in some places that means it's license free. So you've seen Matt, Air Hunters, Chris, Rick, David, 68 Whiskey, and more, all praising the hell out of this gun. Links below, go watch their videos. This is clearly a boomstick in high power but does it work in sub 12? Let's find out. Firstly, it ain't all about power. You see, being British, we make up for that restriction with accuracy. <coughs> Not COVID. What have we got then? Well, from the dangerous end, we have the Smooth Twist X liner. And yes, the barrel comes off, and yes, you can change that liner nice shrouded barrel and being 500 mil it ends about 10 centimeter before the shroud does so yes it does give a little reduction in the bar being full boom then you can go up to 700 mil but in the uk that's a license job barrel housing will swap with other x-liner systems but the pin probe looks a little different on fitting Underneath is the power pack or the 480cc removable carbon bottle. And yep, you can swap it for a 300 or 580 if you're splashing the cash at checkout. Currently, note that word, filling to 250 bar. Just behind that is regulator number one. 20 MOA rail on the top. That's a new and welcome addition to help with longer range shooting. And the barrel passes through that rail in the same style as the impact with side rails for toys. This is where the whole new chassis comes into play. Side lever cocking, very similar to the Wildcat, but behind it is the plenum section. Now, eagle-eyed viewers will note the plenum is reversed on the sub 12, so the reg is at the back and in the high power, it's at the front somewhere around there. So this has a plenum size the same as a Wildcat Sub-12. Let's be clear, and I have this from FX themselves, the idea of the two regulators is to help with regulator creep, help with flattening that tiny, tiny curve you get when in a shot string. It makes the rifle consistent in a certain power band. In Sub-12, we don't normally see that as an issue, but the two regulators do help prevent creep and power changes. You see, one regulator can be holding back 250 bar of pressure. That's enough to level your house. So spread the load and it makes things last longer and provides less issues. It also enables more air pressure to be used in the future. So if you wanted, for example, a 300 bar bottle, then because it's double regulated, this rifle can handle it. Is FX giving you a future prediction? Who knows? So in Sub-12, I see it as the future for pressure and making regulators last longer, as opposed to high power, which is actually about the same. But they make use of the bigger plenum to give them more power. To be clear, it's about controlling regulator creep and changes in power on your gun, according to FX. Then we have the cheek piece and the right hand loading. 
over 17722 shot magazine and yes the mags are the same as the wildcat the crown and the dreamline they're interchangeable as is the barrel housing and liners the shroud cover on the front is not because it's a slightly different size power wheel at the back and yes it really works really does it's part wildcat part impact and all new styling is the block similar to the wildcat well yeah but it's about the layout which is all new and those double regulators adjustable shoulder pad at the rear very similar to the impact and yes the saber shoulder pad and bag rider fit which is a nice bonus trigger is bladed and it's a direct linkage to the sears at the back just like the wildcat it has the normal floating hammer so yes when you tip and tilt the rifle you can hear an uncocked hammer floating one other thing the ping when you pull the trigger it is a real ping why well the valve and air is less so you hear the ping of the action more but only in your ear because it's resting on it downrange your quarry ain't gonna hear not a lot ever again my chest mic picks up the ping rather too much during the video left-handed uh, yeah no not really power and accuracy what should you expect right this is sub 12 foot pound and it's going to be locked down to stop the naughty fairies going over to pixie land and doing bad things i have fed back to fx what i've done to my rifle and how i have configured it but it will come from the uk distributors set to what they believe is best so yes the power wheel will turn it will adjust the power but the regulators well that's just jailbait right there so they will be restricted there is a reason sub 12 is not on a firearms license and that's because it's sold set to the legal limit every rifle is different so expect normal 177 power levels mine i have running just under the 12 foot pound limit but if you're buying one without a firearm license, expect impact and wildcat restrictions. Each setting on the power wheel in sub 12 will vary the feet per second. It will reflect that in your shot count. Shoot on lower power, you use less air. Higher uses more air. So the manufacturer quotes 600 shots. With my setting, it's more like 450, but it is a 177, and the 22 sub 12 will be more like 600. Through those shots, you can see the regulator working, and you can see the flatness of that shot string. Accuracy. Well, I am 4,000 or more pellets in, and what have I found? Firstly, clean your barrel i spent a good hour cleaning mine it was filthy on arrival a clean barrel can take your 10 shot group from this to this pellet choice again i'm learning the 177 liner it likes the predator polymags out to 25 yards stacks them but at 50 yards it's the 844 fx pellets 100 yards i'm using the 844s as well it's a 1400 pound gun you're going to expect accuracy in this price bracket and it shoots as good as the equivalent in the market. These guns outshoot us now, but what the double reg starts to show is the failing of not weighing pellets, the wind, the air pressure and the shooter. If you clean the barrel, choose the right pellets and the right scope, pick a non-windy day, sorry, but if you miss, it might be a picnic. And that stands for a problem in chair, not in computer. The manometer gauges, or whatever you want to call them, they're not clear enough. For the capability of the rifle, the gauge is just too general, and they do need to be more accurate. And I think probably some of you out there will upgrade those for sure. The looks won't be everyone's yeah. taste. Wooden stocks are still a firm favourite and classic lines, yeah. so it will have its haters. It's also an FX, and that's enough to boil some shooters' brains. But what we've got here is going to be copied 
by everyone else in the future. So if you're not an FX fanboy, and I am, yeah. thanks to a few other YouTubers for pointing that out, in case I didn't know it, just think this is a double reg rifle. This stuff is coming, and whether you like FX or not, they are the first in production. So me and the Maverick have been out in the woods a little bit and around the field, and we've got to know each other quite well. There's a couple of things to point out. Firstly, you don't need all that bipod like you see me shooting off the table. You just need something smaller on the front. There is also no easy place to put a sling, so there's no attachments or anything like that. So you are only going to carry it either there or there, and it you definitely have to hold on to it. And if you're carrying it like that, it's kind of like the impact. It's gonna be, you know, that one grip point is hard work after sort of half an hour. It's not got the feel of that traditional sporter stock. And honestly, when you do carry it, it's a well-known pose now. It wants to hang there. That's where it wants to be when you're walking. And it's quite fine, but it's natural hanging position is just there. 1400 quid for this, minus the scope and the bipod. A few pounds less for the compact version and even more off if you go for the VP version with the aluminium bottle. Is it worth it? Well, for a few quid more, you can have an impact, but this has two regs. The impact does not. Bit less cash, you can have the simpler Wildcat. They've got you either way. Neither comes with everything that you want. If you just want to shoot, not tuning, maybe the Wildcat. Want the Big Daddy platform? It's the Impact. Want the new Shebang setup? It's the Maverick. I would say development is driven towards high power firstly on this one, but inside it's still the same pressures. 250 bar held back by one reg. Not anymore. It's new. We are learning. And one video from me is not going to be the answer for everything. People will do amazing things in all powers, and not even competition rifles have two regs. I think that's going to change. So if you want the future, here it is. Early days, but it's here. I think it's time to rewrite the rule book. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and also visit airgun101.com for the best airgun videos before they hit YouTube. Also, I have a little online shop and your custom helps me and Airgun 101 and my show to survive. So please visit airgun101shop.co.uk. Now go, go and be free and enjoy the freedom of flight and be one with the clouds and be your own maverick. <laughs> No, 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 no,